Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to Tales of Fantasia. I fixed the skit issues. I ended up having to get a different emulator, and by emulator I mean a legit PlayStation 9. But, uh, for some reason it just wouldn't work on EPSXE, and it does work on another emulator called Duck Station, which sucks. I really wish I'd been able to finish it on EPSXE because Duck Station is awful. <laughs> I do not recommend it. Uh, it is, uh, for some reason, Duck Station does not register as a game capture or a window capture. There's no way to record it outside of doing a full-on display capture. So my entire- I have to play the game on full screen on one of my monitors and capture that entire monitor with Streamlabs to be able to stream this now, which, for those of you who, uh, don't know how Streamlabs and stuff works yourselves, it's very annoying. It's very annoying to have to deal with. But anyways, all that matters is that the game works now, and we can play it properly as it was intended. Also, you may notice I have a ton of save files here. I actually got a save file for every moment where we missed a skit. So we're going to go back and watch all of the skits that I missed in the first stream, because it wasn't working for some reason. So let's load it up. First save file puts us right outside of the town, right after we go to hunt the boar with Chester, so let's see what skits we missed. The hunt's got you excited, eh, man? You sound pretty eager to get started yourself. Hey, I made a promise to Ami. She's gonna die. I gotta bring back a nice big pile of meat. Then we can't let her down. Aw, oh, she's... Oh, man. For sure, keep your eyes peeled. I don't think you gotta worry about letting her down, brother. I'm gonna be real with you. Hey, a question's been on my mind lately. Huh? Is every follower of the Alvain style required to wear a bandana? No, it's optional. Really? There's you, your dad, the students, and... Master Tristan, remember? Haha, <laughs> how could I forget? That old bald fart doesn't even wear a hat. Alright, time to hit the forest. Hopefully we catch a big plump one. Ha, yeah, let's get us a 12-pointer, I think that said. You gotta read fast. Okay, and then that's the same one again. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Uh, now, here's where it gets annoying, though, to rewatch all these skits. Again, another thing I don't like about this emulator is, especially when it's in full screen, I don't really know how to, like, effectively reset it. So I basically just have to, like, close out the emulator and reopen it. And every time you try to open a game in this emulator, it makes you scroll through, like, all of the folders on your computer. Which, obviously, I, you know, don't want to just have all the folders in my computer show up in my YouTube videos. So I gotta put up my starting soon screen and then reload it. And also, it goes through the loading screen of the PlayStation 1 every time I load up the game, which is super annoying. There's probably a way to get it to not boot up the PlayStation 1, like, opening screens, but I don't know how to do it. Really, really wish that the EPSXE just hadn't broken the skits for some reason or another so that I could have kept using it. This is why I didn't want to have to switch emulators, but again, didn't really have an option if we wanted to have skits in this playthrough. But now, let's... I gotta click back into the emulator, of course. Whoop. Now we load up this save file. Whoop. So as you can see, this is right after we beat the boar and the town is under attack, so let's see what skits we get here. Oh no, it's the village's bell. Is something bad happening? We need to help. Oh, it's probably nothing bad, it's just on fire, no big deal. We've got to hurry back to Totus. Whatever happened, it can't be good. Is that it? And that's it, all right, now we're gonna load it all back up again to see the next round of, of things. Do do do. Close that. Reopen. The things I do for my skits. The worst part is, is that the controller like works in Duck Station, so I'm using the controller to like reload the game and all that. But it's but you know, Tales of Fantasia is stupid. So like in Duck Station, it's like you press circle to go back and X to select, like a normal human would. But in Tales of Fantasia, they're reversed, so it keeps messing with my brain. There's no default reset set. You have to set it in settings. I'm not messing with all that midstream. 
here's an idea. Maybe the default should be something intuitive instead of something stupid. My point is, is I don't like this emulator. I think it's very bad, but unfortunately, Tales of Fantasia only seems to work properly on this one. So we just gotta live with it for this playthrough and hopefully this playthrough alone, and then I can uninstall this for my computer and never look at it again. You just assigned X and O is what you want it to be? No, I can't. We already tried to do that in Fantasia, and it wouldn't let me. That only affected in battle. Do, do, do. This one. This is after we leave the town. After seeing everyone died and Chester stayed behind. So what skits have we got here? Not much to do except get to Euclid. Hopefully Uncle Olsen can help me. That it? Mom's last wishes. I need to visit Euclid and find Uncle Olsen. Poor mom. And that's that. Alright, cool. So obviously, we didn't actually miss out on much by missing these skits. But again, for, you know, my own personal satisfaction. Oh, whoops. Yes, stop current emulation. There we go. For my own personal reasons, I want to, uh... I want to see them all. I can't say, uh, hello. Emulator, you're not working all of a sudden. What's your deal? Come on. Here we go. Thankfully, we're almost done, and then we can just get back to playing the game as per normal. In settings, I mean, just assign X is O and O is X. That'll flip it backwards on the other stuff. That doesn't help me at all. I don't want it to be O and X. I want it to be the other way. If I flip it to where it's like that in Fantasia, then it'll be backward in the duck station thing, which is my point. That wouldn't help at all. Whoop. I think we just have to load one more save file. Oh, whoops. This one. So this is after we leave What's-His-Face's mansion and we're going to the cave to go through the first dungeon and talk to Deos. Well, talk to Deos, more like fight Deos to the death. And by that I mean he just destroys us and then we get sent back in time. This battle isn't just Mr. Morrison's alone. Darn straight, we gotta get payback for my sister and everyone else. Allow me to assist you, let us catch up with Mr. Morrison. First skip with Mint, I believe. What the heck did you do to get yourself arrested and thrown in a dungeon? I went to bed at Uncle Olsen's house. Then, at midnight, soldiers surrounded my bed. He's a traitor! Dude, that sucks. Your uncle totally sold you out. I trusted him so much. Well, life's full of surprises, for better or worse. Don't lose too much sleep over it. Yeah, your uncle betrayed you. Just get over it, forehead. Okay, let's follow Master Tristan to that cave. Mr. Morrison should be walking through there as we speak. Yeah, time to get even with those dirt bags for Amy and the rest of the villagers. I must have enough time to read that. All right, and then that repeats. Okay, cool. We've done it. We've seen all of the skits that we missed last time because the emulator wasn't working for some reason. So now we load up the game one final time. And then we can just play as normal. That only took like eight minutes. Let's go. Do, do, do. Oh my goodness, the load up time on this is ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Alright, Fantasia time for real. Continue. If I'd hit new game there, I would have been so upset. And now we load up the actual save file, where we are in the past with Cress and Mint at level 11. So, like I said, I had to replay through everything for this emulator so that the skits would work, so levels, skill stuff might be slightly different than what you remember from the first stream, the first nine videos for those of you on YouTube. I also, this time around, I put a lot of focus on just spamming Demon Fang and Swallow Dance to try and get their mastery up because I want to be able to use Demonic Swallow Kick. So I got Demon Fang to 63 and Swallow Dance to 55, and then Lightning Tiger Blade I used here and there, so it's only at 
But hopefully today, maybe even, we can get these two up to 100% and get Demonic Swallow Kick and try that out. That'll be fun. I also don't have Sword Rain Alpha, so I'm probably like a level lower than I was originally. Maybe I was level 12 before or something. I don't remember. But hey, we're in the past, and we can watch skits. Where in the world are we? More like when. It seems really familiar. But the scent of the wind seems a little different. I'm sorry, what? What do you mean? I'm sorry, I can't explain it any better. Uh, oh well. For now, let's just worry about finding a place with some people to ask. The wind smells different? Is mint okay? What do you think we should do from here? I just want to find some people first. Is that it? Alright, cool, cool. Let's go, let's go. The village of Belladum. It's called Totus in our time, isn't it? Like we just saw in that skit. Hey, who are those two? Aw, oh, villager number one. My favorite character in every Tales of game. Outsiders, it looks like. Burn the witches! Yeah, they have to be. I wonder where they're from. Uh, excuse us. Where are... Oh my goodness, it's another old dude. He looks just like Tristan. Uh, oh, visitors. How curious. I'm the chief of this village. Who are you two? From where did you come? We, uh, well, I'm Cress of Totus, and this is Mint of the Wind. You see, we were sent, well, somewhere by someone's clerical arts. We were knocked unconscious, and when we came to, we found ourselves in the nearby prairie. Totus. Never heard of it. Have any of you heard of Totus? Huh? Hmm. The look in your eyes doesn't tell me a different story. But on the other hand, I don't know of this clerical art business either. I'm just talking nonsense over here. Midnight, welcome to stream. Love your content, mate. Support you. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. What you described sounded like magic, though. Is that what you meant? Just say magic, morons. Magic. But that's impossible. Magic is a power that ceased to exist long ago. Magic ceased to exist? You seem a bit addled, young man. It's getting late anyway, and this is hardly the place for a discussion. Why don't we make ourselves comfortable at my house? We'll continue our little chat there. I don't know, man. The last time I went to sleep in a bed in this game, I woke up surrounded by men holding spears. Uh, so, you know, I'm not really sure if I want to do that. Come now, it's just a short walk this way. What's with that dragonfly there? Hey, this sounds pretty interesting for a change. Let's follow them. All right. Must not be a lot going on in this place. I haven't properly introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Lenios? Lenios. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is ours. And are you really- Cress, are you sitting in a chair right now? Are you really like you walked in, took the seat, and then made Mint Stan? The most ungentlemanly Tales of character, or protagonist at least, I've ever seen. Lenios. That name sounds so familiar. Right, so let's continue. I was rather perplexed when you called magic a power that ceased to exist. That's what I heard from my mom. She told me stories about how there was a power called magic long ago, but it eventually disappeared. Excuse me, sir, but is it true that you are unfamiliar with clerical arts? They possess the power to heal. The power to heal? What do you mean, young lady? Okay, there's not a... Oh, first aid, nice. Was he injured? You just healed him for nothing. All right, so we it looks like we weren't sitting in a chair, so Cress is saved from being ungentlemanly. Oh, I feel about 10 years younger. That's more than healing. You like reverse the aging process. That's a big deal. That was wonderful, but I'm afraid I know nothing of it. Well, now it's my turn. Why don't I show you some magic? Flames come forth. This man just shot a fireball in his wooden home. What the heck is wrong with this dude? 
Look at Cress's face, man. <laughs> what is wrong with him? What? Wow. Maybe that's what we need to defeat Deos. What? You said Deos? You know about Deos? As if there's anyone who doesn't. He's the enemy of the whole world. He declared war and has been steadily expanding his power ever since. Huh? But he should have only just broken free from his seal. He was sealed, you say? You've lost me, young lady. He appeared some time ago. Some time ago, really? Did we arrive in the world of the future? Wait, we went to the future? I thought we went to the past. The future? Are we Samurai Jack? Wait, no. I believe the opposite is true. Yeah, you moron. I think this is the world before Deos was sealed. What in blazes is all this about past and future? This is the year 4202 by the Azalean calendar. A hundred years ago? Wait, the whole Deos thing was only a hundred years ago? He's only been sealed for like a hundred years? I thought he would have been sealed longer than that. My goodness, this is unbelievable. Yeah, this all sounds pretty incredible, doesn't it? But now I understand why he doesn't know of clerical arts. It's said that they weren't fully codified until the Order of Clerics was founded in the year 4210. Ah, so they just haven't been completed and made known to the people of this time yet. Chief! I demand an explanation for this! Yeah, why'd you shoot a fireball just randomly out your door, you madman? Yo, this guy needs to be, like, he needs to be fired. I'm astonished. We finally get visitors and they're from the future. It's just so unbelievable. It really does seem a little far-fetched, but... Considering what's happened, it's not impossible. It sounds so crazy, I'm still having a hard time taking it in myself. But more importantly... Could you tell us what you know about Deos and magic? Yeah, sure, why not? Deos is a strange figure. It's said that his only weakness is magic. Apparently, he's impervious to everything else. Ah, oh, well. Magic is your only hope. Oh, no! Is this Tales of game gonna force me to play as a mage? For, like, the first time? I only ever play as the swords dudes, or fist dudes, in Jude's case. But, it's impossible for you to use. Huh? How come? I don't know. I'm sure he's gonna tell us as soon as I finish taking a drink of my water here. My power comes from the fact that I have some elven ancestors. They have elves in this game? See you later, Midnight. Thanks for dropping by stream, dude. However, the two of you seem to be pure-blooded humans. To put it simply, you can't use magic without elven blood. There were elves in Symphonia, right? Wasn't, uh... Weren't, uh, Genus and Rain like half-elf or something? Some kind of nonsense like that? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Symphonia. Elven, you say? That's right. Only the elves or people with their blood can weave mana into magic. So basically, we're gonna have to get a blood transfusion. It's impossible for us to defeat him. Now don't give up just yet. You might try making allies of powerful magic users. Yeah, let's go kidnap an elf. That'll go over well. Like who? Could you introduce us to some? Wait just a minute. You're not actually serious about fighting Deos, are you? Of course we are. We owe him some payback. Uh, well, I... Please. Even if we have to put our lives on the line. Well, we really just made a really big decision for uh, Mint there that she's going to be putting her life on the line. Chester and Mr. Morrison are counting on us. Didn't his father help seal Deos, or am I misremembering? I don't think it was Cress's father. I think it was, like, Cress's grandfather or great-grandfather. I think Cress is, like... So, like, at the start of the game, they had those four people that sealed Deos, and it said it was, like, a hundred years ago that they sealed him. And then I think, like, the... The pendants got passed down the generations. So, Cress is probably, like, three grandsons down from the guy who actually helped seal Deos. Something like that. Unfortunately, I don't know any powerful magic users personally. That's a shame. Are we gonna team up with our own great-grandpa? In that case, could you tell us where we can meet an elf? Oh, hold on. I just got an idea. To the north is Euclid Village. It's home to a man named Clarth F. Lester. Yo, Euclid, I've been there. Clarth's a human, but he's more passionate about magic than any practitioner of the craft I've ever heard of. 
He conducts research day in and day out, hoping to find a way for humans to use magic. The four heroes in the past yeeted Deos into the future through indignation. Oh, I guess indignation can just time travel, apparently. He got sealed in the future ten years before the game starts. Okay, so... The scene at the start of the game where they used indignation was a hundred years ago from when Crest was like a 14 year or a 16 year old, however old Crest is. Then, a hundred years ago, they used indignation, which sent Deos 90 years into the future, where he was sealed by their descendants there. Then 10 years passed, and that's when the game starts, I think. Man, time travel, it's wild, man. It's just a great time. Sounds like visiting this Clark guy is worth a try. Yes, although he's a little eccentric, not the most sociable. And he might even treat you coldly at first. But I believe him to be a decent fellow at heart. Just explain the situation to him and I'm sure things will soon work out in your favor. Understood, thank you. I sure hope he believes that I'm a time traveler. Now, now, no need to thank me. I know where you're coming from. Back in my day, I was all fired up about my magic powers. Wanted to use them to shoot those kids off my darn lawn. I wanted to use them to protect the world, too, so I trained relentlessly. Thank you for your sentiments, sir. Just be sure you don't get in over your heads, you hear? Anyway, you can stay at my house for the night. Please make yourselves at home. Thank you. We're in your debt.